Hello everyone, today we will open up the first of the four Commander 2018 decks. And today we have Sahili the Gifted with Exquisite Invention, a red and blue artifact focused deck. Or as I said um, on Wizards of the Coast, Artifact Matters. Right, so first of all we get the main commander, which is a Planeswalker for Sahili. For 4 mana we get a 4 loyalty Planeswalker, plus 1 ability create a 1-1 one, one colorless servo artifact creature token. Uh, the other plus 1 is the next spell you cast this turn costs 1 less to cast for each artifact you control as you cast it. Minus 7 for each artifact you control, create a token, that's a copy of it. Those tokens gain haste. Exile those tokens at the beginning of the next end step. Very nice, very nice. I especially like the throwback to Affinity. Now let's see what's in the deck. Right, so... Unlike some other uh, years, we only get one oversized card. That's not a problem to me. I never use them anyway, so... Nice box with a little uh, booklet on uh, how to play the deck, what to look for, a little bit of information about the characters as well, and yeah, that. Now then, onto the deck itself. Oh, what's this? Hmm. Well, we'll see what that is in a bit. And for this, I will mostly um, talk about the cards that are new for this year's Commander. Well, we get a playable-sized Sahili. Let me focus it up here. There we go. Then we get uh, Brudiklat, Telkor Engineer, which is new as well. Um, for 6 mana, we get a 4-4 Legendary Creature. With creature tokens you control have haste. At the beginning of combat on your turn, create a 2-1 blue mirror artifact creature token. Then you may choose a token you control. If you do, each other token you control becomes a copy of that token. Very nice. And then we have, ah yes, Tonos, Ursus Apprentice. Oh, I would have loved uh, an actual playable Urza card in here, even though it was an Urza of his youth. But instead we have Thanos here. Very nice, very nice, I love it. Uh, for 2 mana we get a 1-3 character, um, creature, sorry, legendary, with haste. And then for 2 mana you can tap it to copy target activated or triggered ability you control from an artifact source. You may choose new targets for the copy. Mana abilities can be targeted. So those are the foils featured in the deck. We get a couple of tokens here. We get a blue mirror token. And they are all double-sided as well. Uh, we get survivor tokens. Thopter tokens. Clue tokens. Construct tokens. Servo tokens. Mirror tokens. Construct tokens. And Thopter tokens. Right. Now then. So we start off with uh, Loyal Drake, which is new for the set as well. For 3 mana, a 2 2 flying with the ability Lieutenant. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you draw, uh, sorry, if you control your commander, draw a card. Loyal Apprentice, also with Lieutenant, uh, for 2 mana, 2 1 creature with haste. And at the beginning of combat on your turn, if you control your commander, create a 1 1 colorless Thopter. Artifact creature token with flying. That token gains haste until end of turn. Geode Golem for 5. We have a 5 3 trample. And when it deals combat damage to a player, you may cast your commander from the command zone without paying its mana cost. Ho <laughs> ho, that is pretty nuts. Pretty nuts indeed. Right, Ethereum Sculptor into the Royal. Reverse Engineer. Thirst for Knowledge. Tidings. Whirler, Rogue, Thopter Engineer, Maverick, Thopterist, Chief of the Foundry, Commander Sphere, 
Dreamstone Hedron, Hedron Archive, Is it Signet, Magnifying Glass, Mindstone, Pilgrim's Eye, Prismatic Lens, Scrabbling Claws, Soul Ring, of course, Swift Foot Boots, very nice, Unstable Obelisk, Vessel of Endless Rest, Worn Power Stone, a random island. Echo Storm. Right, so these are all um, reprints from older cards. Echo Storm. For 5 mana, when you cast this spell, copy it for each time you've cast your commander from the command zone this game. You may choose new targets for the copies. Create a copy that's a copy of target artifact. Cool. Videlkin Humili uh, Humiliator. It's a 3-4 character for 4 mana uh, with Metalcraft. Whenever Videlkin Humiliator attacks, if you control 3 or more artifacts, creatures your opponents control lose all abilities and have base power and toughness 1-1 one, one, until end of turn. Enchanter's Bane for 2 mana and enchantment. At the beginning of your end step, target enchantment deals damage equal to its converted mana cost to its controller unless that player sacrifices it. Sahili's Directive, uh, 3 mana and X. It's a sorcery with Improvise. Uh, each artifact you tap after you're done activating mana abilities pays for 1. Reveal the top X cards of your library. You may put in any number of artifact cards with converted mana cost X or less from among them onto the battlefield. Then put all cards revealed this way that weren't put onto the battlefield into your graveyard. Treasure Nabber. Oh, I love this guy. When I first saw this, I was like, <gasps> I gotta have this deck. And of course, I buy everything that comes out. So eventually, I would have gotten this card. So, for 3 mana, we get a 3-2 uh, creature. Whenever an opponent taps an artifact for mana, gain control of that artifact until the end of your next turn. Ha! <laughs> I love it. Varchild, Betrayer of Kjeldor. She is a character from the Alliance cycle. Um, well, from the Alliance set. Um, from the Ice Age block. Way back in 1996. So, she never got her own character. And this is the very first time that one has been printed. For 3 mana we get a 3-3 creature. Uh, whenever Varchild, Betrayer of Keldor, deals combat damage to a player. That player creates that many 1-1 red survivor creature tokens. Survivors your opponents control can't block and they can't attack you or a planeswalker you control. Varchild leaves the battlefield. Gain control of all survivors. Very cool card. Ancient Stone Idol. For 10 mana we get a 12-12 flash. It costs 1 less to cast for each attacking creature. Wow. Trample. And when Ancient Stone Idol dies, create a 612 colorless construct artifact creature token with Trample. Now I have a, uh, a feeling that Trample is really out of place here. It should have been behind Flash, but that's just me. All in all, not too bad. Covered a jewel. For 6 mana we get an artifact. When it enters the battlefield, draw 3 cards. When you tap it for mana, it adds 3 mana of any color. Whenever one or more creatures an opponent controls attack you and aren't blocked, that player draws three cards and gains control of Coveted Jewel. Untap it. Endless Atlas. Now this is one of the sought after cards. Uh, mostly for... Uh, well, for mono commander decks, but also in... Um, Legacy maybe? Vintage? I don't know. I have read about this card that it's a pretty uh, sought after card. So, yeah. For two mana we get an artifact um, that says for two, tap, draw a card. Activate this ability only if you control three or more lands with the same name. Ah, uh, very nice card. Please some uh, card draw. Uh, Retrofitter Foundry for one mana artifact for three, untap. Uh, for two, and tap. Create a 1-1 one, one colorless servo artifact creature token. For 1 and tap, sacrifice a servo, create a 1-1 one, one colorless Thopter artifact creature token with flying. And if you tap it, sacrifice a Thopter, create a 4-4 four, four colorless construct artifact creature token. Right. So, next up we have a couple of reprints. Soul of New Phyrexia, uh, Aether Gale, Inkwell Leviathan, 
Sahili's Artistry, Sharding Sphinx, Thopter Spy Network, Blasphemous Act, Chaos Warp, Hellkite Igniter, Magma Quake, Blink Moth Urn, Bosch the Iron Golem, Darksteel Juggernaut, The Duplicant, Mimic Vat, Mirror Works, a Mirror Battle Sphere, Prototype Portal, a Psychosis Crawler, Scuttling Doom Engine, Steel Hellkite, Thopter Assembly, Unwinding Clock. Now there are a lot of great reprints in this, like the Unwinding Clock and uh, several other cards. This is really, if you're looking for some um, staple artifacts uh, for a couple of decks, you could be picking up this deck. Then we have some islands. And we have some mountains. And then we go on to the non-basic lands. We have Forge of Heroes. Buried Ruin. A Command Tower. Darksteel Citadel. One of the artifact lands that has made a return in this uh, this year's Commander. And I love it. I love having the artifact lands. Foundry of the, co of the Consoles. Great Furnace. The Red Artifact Lands. Highland Lake. Is it Boiler Works? Is it Guild Mage? Uh, sorry, Guild Gate. And Seed of the Synod, which is also an artifact land. Love it, but for blue. And Sift Water Cliffs. And then we have an advertisement card, apparently. Popular format. Standard Booster Ref Commander. And Discover More at Learn Magic Wizard. Blah, blah, blah. Right, so that's it for the um, red and blue artifact matters deck. With Sahili the Gifted as the main commander. Now then next up... Um, next uh, well tomorrow actually we will be looking at uh, one of the other uh, three remaining decks for commander 2018 thank you all for watching see you all tomorrow bye bye